Yo, what's up guys, welcome back. So, Salmon Great or the new Salmon Great Structure Deck here on Master Duel. So it's finally out, let's take a look. It's actually quite solid, so only for 1500 gems, you're basically almost getting a full core of, you know, all the good Salmon Great cards, plus uh, Cyanet Mining as well, which is indeed an ultra rare. It was quite of an expensive, you know, hard to get card here on Master Duel, so, you know, by just buying the three Structure Decks, you're getting this sweet card. And again, it's something to be used in Marine Says as well, the other video. Um, so Salomon Grades, 41 cards in the main deck. It's a, a deck that, um, you know, very similar to Distant Coders uh, deck list as well. I like the list. It's uh, somewhat different uh, compared to, I, you know, I was used to playing Salomon Grades here in a TCG some time ago, a couple of years ago. But, um, you know, obviously because of Master Duel, Best of One, Maxi is legal. So that's why stuff like Will of the Salomon Grade is not there. You know, they're a continuous spell that reborns something, well, reborns or special summons something. The thing is, is that I really wanted to focus this deck on um, Cyber's dot deck with a lot of hand traps, obviously because of Master Duel, best of one format, and um, it's not really. Um, I mean, th there's a lot of again very similar to Marine says a lot of one card slash, slash two card engines, and uh, with the I believe it was the most recent uh, Master Duel ban list where Gazelle went back to two. Obviously because of this. And uh, Circle is also a 3. So, you know, triple Circle, triple Signet Mining, um, Gazelle at 2. It's, it's fantastic for the deck. And it's definitely, definitely um, enough for Diamond as well. It should be. Um, because again, it's a deck with a couple of 1-card engines plus hand traps. You can't go wrong with that. So going first... The thing is, is that if you know, the artist, if you have the opportunity, going for Zeus might be the better, uh, not Zeus, going for uh, Bakuska might be the better play. As you know, very similar to uh, Evil Twins, uh, Salmon and Great can play under Bakuska, their own Bakuska. You can easily make it with, you know, like uh, uh, Jaguar and uh, Falco, for example. Or if, if you're running, what is it, Foul, also a level 4 Salmon and Great, it's up to you. But um, because of, uh, you know, Stalio and... And, and so on, and you know, the reborn effect of your Jack Jaguar, you can easily go for any rank 4 exceed, but mainly Bakuska going first might be just the way to go to, especially on Master Duel. But, um, I mean, here in this particular duel, this particular opening definitely was solid as well. You have the, the monster, well, the roar being the omni negation, right? The infernity barrier of salads. And you can eventually push for game. That's the thing with this deck, going second or being able to battle it out against an opponent's monster effect negation field, multiple negations. You can easily OTK from there, you know, with like a small combination of, of cybers, monsters, or any, you know, Salomon great monsters. You can easily go for, um, you know, your update jammer, transcode, and that goes for access code with, you know, the, the 3k extra attack, so over 5,000, plus the double attack off of update jammer, which is most of the time game against most decks, right? Plus, Excess Code can pop a couple of cards from your opponent as well, making it much uh, easier to be able to potentially you know, deal the, the lethal damage, right? So again, going first, our duel is going first, going second. Um, and this indeed, uh, this again, a fantastic opening. You're, you're playing hand traps, obviously, so you hopefully you're drawing into those hand traps off of a buffer low or whatever. And here in this case, there is a cross art for a potential Nibiru from the opponent. That's still the biggest weakness of this deck, playing into Nibiru. Um, a cross art was used to, you know, negate the Harpy's Feather Duster. I do go for Roar because, uh, you know, Desires could... Let the opponent draw into more outs, like an Imperm or something like that, to potentially shut down Baguska. So I think it's fine to negate desires. But here in this case, um, I guess this is fine. Um, you know, popping uh, well both Baguska and uh, the Sunlight Wolf. But the Kalbai, Kalbai is a problem. Otherwise, I you know I just would have banished Bailings or Failings and go from there. But um, it's fine though because again this is Salomon great with your combo you're able to get back Gazelle right and that basically sets you up for next turn so if your opponent is able to get rid of your field you're not so powerful field but I mean here in this case Bakuska plus Omnication plus a couple of hand traps that should be most of the time enough for most decks so again very similar as I've you know, talked about before Transcode uh, 
I'm not going for the OTK. Or he, I probably wasn't able to go for the OTK, you know, the double attack. I don't think so. Or am I? No, probably not. Again, I know that Mirage uh, Stelio has, you know, as soon as you use Stelio's effect to special summon something from the deck, you're locked into only being able to use Fire Monster effect for the rest of the entire turn. So you're not able to use Excess Code, but I still went for it, you know, triggering Sunlight Wolf to potentially get something uh, back from the graveyard, basically Gazelle. Uh, as you saw, I'm running Heat, uh, no, not Heat Leo, the, the new one, the new Link 3. Uh, it's also in the structure deck as well, uh, which I rarely go for, you know, the one that pays a thousand life points, um, draw one, right? Um, I don't know, I'm not so sure about the card, it's either you um, kind of lean on sunlight, sunlight Wolf Control with Hand Traps and Traps, or you can go for the OTK with Excess Code and, you know, the double attack because of Update Jammer. Um, so it's it's an iffy one, but it's still it's still there. It's it, I guess it's still an okay option to have there potentially, right? Um, so we always keep the call by the grave for the potential maxi. Here in this case, we knew that uh, especially in case of Salomon, uh, especially in case of um, you know Sword Soul, uh, Ash Blossom wasn't a threat. It's only maxi. Uh, Nibiru is something I can't play around. Or, you know, because again, I'm always pushing for a game. Because of this, the Nibiru token is going to get popped by the Excess Code, and Excess Code can attack twice. Um, so I think you always needed to take the risk here, rather than, you know, make like a small Salomon Great Field with Sunlight Wolf or something like that, potentially getting the trap back. Because again, you can go for games, so you should, even in this situation. So always keep, like, Cross Out or Call By for Mexi. Like, Ash Blossom, I guess, is fine most games, right? Unless you definitely want to search. But uh, other than that, Master Duel, people always have Ash followed by Maxi. Always, 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 always. So I get nipped. Um, this is fine, though, no, because I, this, that's what I felt because of Maxi. And again, this deck plays multiple hand traps. So uh, if, if my Maxi is not getting called by or getting cross out, I should be in an okay position. Um, Okay, so uh, the Anaconda is fine. It's still, you know, legal on Master Duel. Uh, so Phoenix Enforcer hits the board. Phoenix Enforcer is fine, but I'm not drawing into any Salomon Great name. That's a problem. And um, I do go for, at least during my turn, I'm going for a normal summon buffer low, but that's a small mistake. Because I do have failings in Graveyard, and I just should, you know, should have used uh, the Circle for basically Gazelle, probably normal summon it. And, you know, if your opponent wants to use Phoenix Enforcer, I can just uh, use failings to protect it's just the, the Salomon Great name on field, plus use Call By if um, you know the, the Phoenix Enforcer itself is being popped on the field or being used in the graveyard. So that's my small mistake. Um, in the long run, I guess I was like, well, I can just pass again um, because Maxi Nip, you know, you can go from there. Or did I have Nip? Not sure. Uh, well, I definitely had Maxi plus potential protection. Yeah, that was it. Um, but again, I'm going to survive here in this situation. My opponent only has one uh, Omni Negation. This is Prank Kids, by the way. So Prank Kids, um, Destiny Hero, Phoenix Enforcer, Turbo, I guess. So Drop Gazelle, which is indeed going to get negated by Griffin. And here again, very similar to before, there is the Graveyard, which is basically your second hand in case of Salomon. Great. It's um, an, an Access Code Talker OTK again. Uh, just, you know, force out your opponent's negations, hand traps, interruptions, and if you have any two-card interaction with this, you know, just go for update jammer, transcode, access code for the double attack, and, you know, access code can potentially pop your opponent's cards, and you can go for game. So, uh, Salmon Grades, I mean, it's not new, the structure deck, Salmon Grades, we were able to play them at basically almost full force here on Master Duel, but I guess you're probably going to see it much more here. And, um, you know, on the competitive ladder, that is. But uh, Nibiru is still a very strong answer for Salomon grades. But it's it's a fun deck, especially because it's almost at full power. Okay, uh, suggestions are definitely welcome. Guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a card or like if you enjoyed the video. Leave them signing out. Peace.